In this video we're going to be looking at how to find the mean of a PDF by symmetry. So the first thing we're going to look at is finding the mean of a PDF by symmetry when we have a quadratic curve because they are symmetrical. However, the first tip that we that I would give you and you should always follow even well for any PDF question is to sketch the PDF so where possible you need to sketch the PDF the second tip to look for is is it a quadratic so is the function a quadratic because that will help you to determine if it is symmetrical because they are by by nature symmetrical graphs so we're going to be applying these two things to try and find the mean of a PDF. So probably won't surprise you to see that our first example is in fact a quadratic. And I'm going to take the first tip, which is to, to sketch the PDF. So I'm going to draw in my axes. I'm going to substitute in my limit. So if I substitute 0 into this, that if that's 0, then the whole thing is 0. So we know it at 0 on the x-axis, the height of the graph is also 0. So that's a point on the axes. And then at 4, if I substitute 4 in, 4 take away 4 is 0, which makes the entire function 0. So the height of the graph is also 0 there. So we know it's going to be a quadratic curve a negative quadratic because the squared term uh, is a negative and so it's going to look something like this and I'm just going to try and find the height of that graph we know that the center is 2 so that is in fact our mean but to complete the sketch I want to find the height so I'm going to substitute 2 into this so I'm going to get 3 over 32 times 2 is 6 over 32 times 4 minus 2 is 2, so that will give me 12 over 32 when x is 2. So the height of that graph is 12 over 32. So I'm going to try and sketch this in. So the highest point there is when x is 2 which means that the expectation of x is 2, and we found that by symmetry. I'm going to add in a couple of things for us to do. So I want to also find the variance of x, and then find the probability that x is less than the mean. So starting with the variance of x, remember we need to do x squared times the integral of x of fx, take away the mean all squared. So in this example, I'm going to take 3 over 32 out, and that's going to leave us with the integral between 0 and 4 of 4x cubed minus x to the power of 4 dx. Take away the mean, which is 2, and I'm going to square that. So if I integrate this now, I've got 3 over 32 times 4x to the power of 4 over 4 minus x to the power of 5 over 5. That's between 0 and 4. And we're taking away 2 squared, which is 4. So if I continue this, I'll get 3 over 32. Substituting in my values, so if I substitute 4 into this first fraction, I should get 256 minus 204.8. The lower limit here is 0, so 0 into both these fractions is 0, so I don't need to worry about that. 
I need to remember to take away 4. Oh. So when I multiply all of the, well, if when I take away this and then multiply by 3 over 32, I'm going to get 4.8, take away 4, which is 0 0.8. So our variance there is 0 0.8. And then finally I'm going to look at finding the probability that x is less than the mean. Well, we know that the mean here is 2, so one way we could do it is integrate our function between 0 and 2, and that will tell us the area less than the mean. However, because the graph is symmetrical, we know that half of it is less than the mean, and the entire area under the curve is 1, so we know that the probability that x is less than the mean is a half, and that's from the symmetry of the graph. I want to show you one more example of um, a symmetrical PDF where we don't have a quadratic. So this is why it's so important to sketch it because you'll be able to spot the symmetry. So if we have PDF which is defined by x plus 3 over 4 and that's between minus 3 and minus 1 and we have 1 minus x over 4 and that's between minus 1 and 1 and it's 0 otherwise. So we want to find the expectation of x. So I'm going to sketch this curve or this graph. I'm going to draw in my x-axis and so the first function is between minus 3 and minus 1. So here's minus 3 is minus 1. I'm going to substitute those values in. So at my, when x is minus 3, minus 3 plus 3 is 0, which makes the height of the graph 0. And when x is minus 1, minus 1 plus 3 is 2 over 4, which is a half. So at minus 1, the graph has a height of a half. And so it's a straight line up from minus 3 to there. And then the second part of the PDF, I'm going to substitute minus 1 into a function. 1 minus minus 1 is 2 over 4, which is a half. And then 1, substitute that in for x. 1 minus 1 is 0. So at 1, x is 0. Sorry, the height of the graph is 0. So it's going to be another straight line down. And so we know that the expectation of x in this case is minus 1, and that's from the symmetry of the, of the graph. I just want to prove that it is symmetrical by looking at the area of each triangle. So if we look at the first red half, we've got the base, which is 2, multiplied by the height which is a half, and then we need to divide that by 2, so we've got 1 over 2 as the area of that one, and then the area of the blue one is exactly the same, the base is 2, the height is a half, divide that by 2, and again we get a half, so the graph is absolutely symmetrical because these are straight lines going down from um, at the same point with the same base and they've got the same area. So where possible try and find the expectation of x by using symmetry because it's much easier than having to integrate it and you're much less likely to make a mistake as well and the top tips for that are 
sketching the PDF firstly and also a good tip to look out for is is the function a quadratic more often than not you'll get a, a symmetrical PDF however you, you have to be careful with one such as this so if I had a negative quadratic um, but let's say it between 0 and 6 it was symmetrical but if our function was only between 0 and 4 it would not be a symmetrical PDF because our PDF would just go up to about there so if I draw that again our PDF would look like that between 0 and 4 and therefore not symmetrical so it's very very important to ensure that you sketch the PDF before making a judgment on whether it's symmetrical or not.